Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, got a little video here for you guys. Um, I'm sure you guys have had the same type of problem before that I have. This kind of goes in hand in hand with uh, the other video that I made for um, improving your drag power. A lot of people um, think that their drag is what's slipping when a lot of the times it's actually the braid spinning around on the spool. So just the way you check that is you can either hold your finger on the side of the spool and pull the line to see if the line is twisting um, or you can you know hold it real close and pull it and just see if you can see your spool turning you can also put a little dot on your spool which you know I'd rather not do uh, it's not that big of a deal but just to be able to check to see if your line is spinning is not really a need for a dot so what I recommend is you know just holding your spool and pulling it and seeing if it's doing that so and and that'll make you think that your drag is is coming out because you're pulling your line your drag super tight and uh, still it's not it the, the lines not tight so um, you know you gotta make sure that that's not the problem um, so what you wanna do is take a little bit of tape here you can use you know the surgeon's, ga surgeon's gauze tape or you can use uh, um, this right here is basically that you know it's basically surgeon's tape um, but this is waterproof tape so I figure since the spool is going to be getting wet and stuff I don't want some piece of cloth down there mildewing at the bottom of my reel so I um, decided to go ahead and use this stuff here and the way I recommend doing it is just attaching it to the spool and then turn the handle until it gets right where you want it to and then clip it off with a pair of scissors and that way you don't have excess, you know, overlapping. You don't want, you, I'm sure if, you know, if you have a little tiny bit of overlap, that's okay. But you don't want too much overlap. Uh, get down the wrong way. Um, you don't want too much overlap because then you just kind of kind of throw your, your spool off balance. So you want your spool to be as balanced as possible. So just a little bit of tape here. Well, this will help the, the braid dig in. It'll help the braid dig into the tape, and then that'll make it so that way it'll have somewhere to stay. So what I'm going to do is just chop it off right about here. Okay, so you see it is overlapped just a little tiny, tiny bit. I mean, just barely at all, so that's not going to make any difference at all. So now you have something to grab onto when you spool your, your braid. Now you could tie an arbor knot, square knot, just two regular overhand knots, however you want to do it now. Um, you just need to make sure that when you're winding your braid on, you wind it on pretty tight. And, uh, but this will keep it from slipping. Now my lose, my new lose one that I got, it doesn't slip. It has two small grooves in it and I think that's to keep the braid from slipping. Um, I never really heard anybody talk about what those grooves are for. Um, so, but I, I think that's what's, what they're for because my lose is not slipping and neither is the Corrado. So, just this one and this one did not have a line. So, uh, make sure you check that before you go out buying drag washers and, you know, the cupped washers and all that kind of stuff. Um, because it does take quite a bit to wear out your drag. Um, you know, it takes quite a bit to wear out your drag. So that if you're having drag problems, that'd be the first thing I check to see if your braid is slipping. Uh, people are using a lot of braid today, so um, that's a little tip right there. So you guys keep your lines tight and don't have a problem with your drag anymore. Take it easy.